Okay, hi everybody. So I first of all would like to apologize if you hear a lot of background noise. I live in a small loft, so because I'm doing laundry and for some reason I have the loudest washer and dryer ever, it's gonna be a little loud. And I will just show you first everything that I am using. I used my Cricut Cut Expression. This is the cartridge I'm using. It's called Wild Card. That's what it is right there. Cricut Cut Tools, which are totally optional. The letters that I had cut out. You can see some of them are already missing from when I was doing my samples and my planning. This is a glue pen. This is a stamp that I'm borrowing from my friend. This is the ink I'm using. This is embossing ink. So this is the embossing powder I'm using. It's clear. This is the um, heater that my friend let me borrow. I also used washi tape for decoration. I'm using my scrapbook pens, birthday cards. It's a set of 50 cards and envelopes and this was only $10. We need to know how many invitations you're making. So this is my party planning book. I have 27 invitations that need to go to 27 different houses. One cup of coffee because if you're like me, you have been staying up way too late and then getting up early with your children who do not understand sleeping in. So I start with the washi tape, which when I use the embossing heater, it does wrinkle the tape up a little bit, but I decided that was a sacrifice I wanted to make because I'd much rather have everything be centered first. So I just kind of eyeball it. And like I said, I'm not really worried about people caring or like the look about having, just have it wrapped around. So this is on the inside. And then I'm going to fold it and then I'm going to use my little quick cut folder just to give it a good crease. And then I am going to do the front. And just kind of use the line as a guide to keep it straight. And what's nice about washi tape is it's not too sticky. So if you mess up or you think you're too crooked, you can just peel it back off and stick it back on without having to worry about wasting too much tape. Turn the stamp upside down and take the ink pad and blot the stamp. And then I want this nice and centered, which I will do my best to try and center it just by eyeballing it and set it down and push firmly. Another tip from the video that I watched said to not rock it back and forth because then you can get some fat lines and the details can get a little bit blurred. And let's see how I did. I did pretty well. Like I said, I'm new to stamping, so I'm not too great at this. But I just kind of sprinkled it on there lightly, or as lightly as I possibly could. And then I kind of tried to move it around just to make sure all of my ink is covered. And you can kind of see it, the ink grabbing it. Okay. And then I used my rough draft and I kind of tapped it in there. And then turn on your heater and emboss. Okay, so like I said, the embossing heater does kind of wrinkle up my washi tape. Actually on this one, it did pretty well, but if it does, just kind of press it out. Um, and it did kind of wrinkle up the paper a little bit and uh, there's probably better paper for embossing. Like I said, I'm new to stamping, so I'm not really sure, but I'm not really worried about it. It's gonna go to an, into an envelope anyway and it still looks really cute. Get my Martha Stewart glue pin. I just push down to let the glue come out and then spread it everywhere and then I kind of like for it to hang off of the washi tape a little bit there we go. 
now to let that dry, I'm gonna go back to the front and I'm actually going to write in the words for my invitation. I honestly, I don't really care for my own handwriting, but my handwriting is all I have right now. So I'm just going to take it slow and make sure I write neatly and space out as well as possible. All right, so now the front is done. If I had extra money in the budget, I would have added some stickers or something along here. Maybe a second washi tape if I had the colors I wanted. Um, just to give it a little bit more, just so it's not so plain. But I think it's still cute. And now for the inside, I'm actually going to use a ruler to help me make sure that I'm writing everything kind of straight. Okay, you guys kind of get the gist there. I'm gonna leave the rest blank just to respect the privacy of the person that is hosting the party. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing over here for my guest gift buying guide. Okay, now I'm gonna draw in my Single hoppers with the green pen just to give it a little bit more interest. Okay, got my dingle hoppers slash slash scepters. Write in what my little princess likes to collect. Okay. So that was pretty much it. Obviously when I'm done, I will write in the rest of the information. Um, I'm not really gonna do anything special with the envelopes. I do make my own like label makers for the return address. So I'll either hand write in the address for the guest. Pretty much everybody has Microsoft Word. So, and you just go in for the label, type up your um, guest addresses and print them out and just slap them on there and it makes it nice and easy. I hope you liked the video. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a series on planning this party. So if you like these types of videos from me, give it a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you guys do for your invitations, and I will see you with my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Is that your invitation for your party? Yeah. What's on there? Oh, I want to see if I...